nice to see you. Uh, so I did start off with braided hair. I started off with a flat surface. Now, um, I love to make sure my hair is braided under my turbans. I feel comfortable that way. Now, I did also put a few swirls at the front. This I do prior to putting on the head wrap. If you want to put your baby hairs at the front, if you don't want to put any baby hairs, that's fine. But I just put a few swirls at the front because I love the look of that. Now, the um, head wrap I'm going to use today is this head wrap that I got from Forever 21. It's actually a scarf that I picked up a few years ago and it's my favorite. You guys probably know that because I've worn it so many times in some of my videos. And um, I love it because of the stretch. It's best to get a head wrap that stretches a lot because I feel like it makes it more secured when you're finished. And I'm also going to use this hair bun that I picked up from uh, I think it's wigtypes.com so it's just like a five dollar hair bun it's a little messy but it doesn't matter it's a five dollar hair bun it has um some combs in it it has what it has one comb in it so I like to use this and I just use it as the form now you can also use these forms I picked up like a pack of them from Amazon and you can also use this but I love my hair bun because of how big it is and I love when my turban is like really high and really like big so that's why I love that one now I'm also going to use a stocking cap and it doesn't matter what color you use so the stocking cap no I don't always use a stocking cap but I'm just doing this for people that don't have any hair at all so what you do if you don't have any hair at all, the stocking cap is what's going to secure the um, bun on your head. So the first thing I do is just stick the bun where I want it. So if that's where I want it, that's where I stick it. And then, again if you don't have any hair, you don't want to stick it, but the stocking cap is what's going to keep it secure. And then I just put the stocking cap over my head. So it can stay one place. So this is where we are right now. So I'm just going to bring it up. And you want to grip it as tight as possible. And you bring it to the like, center of your ears. Now, I don't push it behind my ears because I'm going to wait until um, I'm ready to style it to do that. So I'm just going to bring it up and then wrap it. I'm going to wrap it again just for security. Any extra piece you can start tucking. I bring it back a little and then I start wrapping this piece around and you can style it to your liking how you want to style it That extra piece, wherever it's left off, you can start like probably tucking somewhere. You can tuck underneath. And then this extra piece, again, you can style it how you want. You can bring it around. And just tuck it wherever you please. It's honestly up to preference when it comes to styling. And sometimes I just play around with it and I find different styles. <laughs> and then the end part again, you just tuck it wherever you can tuck it. Wherever it ends, you just tuck it under.
So what I do now is start bringing it behind my ears. Pull my ears out. Do the next side. Bring it back just a little bit. To show a little of the baby here at the front or the swirls. Again, you can just keep playing around with it how you please, how you want it to look. So I'm just going to pull it apart and create another style for you. So with this piece, what I'm going to do is just um, wrap it like this. So after wrapping it like this, what I'm going to do is bring this piece around at the top right there. Bring it around on this side. Bring it up. And then bring it down like that. And then bring it back around and tuck. <laughs> And the thing with this piece, you can just adjust it to how you like.